that focused on flower color. It was all about the textures and shapes and that they plant. So we're here at the dry garden at Beth Chateau Gardens, um, a part of the garden that's never been irrigated since it's been planted. So we'd never feed our plants. Um, once they're in the ground, um, that's it. They just have to, to cope with whatever rain we have from above um, and there's no feeding. This actually used to be a car park for many years um, and Beth always used to say that even the native weeds would curl up and die in July. It was that dry. But she knew that if she just chose the right plants that could cope with these conditions, um, she could create something really, really beautiful. It's definitely more important in, in these days when you have these volatile sort of changes um, in the weather. Um, one minute um, we have, one year we have very cold winters, then we have mild winters. Uh, we might have a very wet spring, we might have a very dry spring. Last year uh, we had a heat wave um, that lasted, uh, we had about 50 days with very hot temperatures and no rain whatsoever. Um, so it's really important um, to think about how you use water in your garden. I grew up here, came here in the summer holidays. Um, we lived um, about 150 miles away, so we weren't on the doorstep, but we did used to come and spend extended amounts of time here. And, you know, it was a really lovely place to come to as a child and to have this freedom and such an exciting environment to be in. She was very um, interested in design and shape um, and texture and so what she, you know, for her in the garden it was very important to, to think about all of those different things. Um, so she would have a palette of plants that she could use to suit the conditions but then she would make choices based on uh, their form and texture and movement, colour. Um, really, uh, you know, every, everything she would be looking at and painting a picture with these plants.
at the time people were very interested but I get the impression that they thought it wouldn't work um, it was very ahead of its time and there weren't any other gardens like that at the time um, but knowing my grandma it, it would have worked because she knew her plants and she did know um, you know what she was doing She'd seen a, a dried out riverbed and it gave her an idea and she thought I could create something similar like, that would look similar like a, a, a dried out riverbed flowing through with planting on either side and that's what she created. And it's just colourful and vibrant. Mm. I'm just saying we've done this to our dog. As a child, it was just my grandma's garden. Um, it was perfectly normal to me. And it's only really been more recently when I've been living here and working along with the gardeners and that I've really understood her principles um, and the magnitude really of what she was doing at that time.